it's a couple days before Thanksgiving and I want to do something different for my family Thanksgiving. I need to bring something sweet. So instead of the typical cookies or pies, I decided to go with one of, I think it's a main favorite. I don't know if it's in other parts of the country. It could be, who knows. But it's using potatoes. They're called needums. They are delicious. I don't like coconut, but coconut's in it, and so is mashed potatoes. Sounds weird, really good, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So right now, I do have potatoes going, and they're also for tonight's dinner as well, so it's kind of a, like a two for one deal. So I'm gonna use, those are the potatoes, so I'm gonna use those, and I have all the other ingredients ready to go right there with the cookbook. And yes, this is one of the cookbooks that my parents used, and it was the Downey's cooking with Marjorie Standish and it's like recipes from New England and she is from Camden, Maine but I've got everything ready and the chocolate's over there I forgot to grab it I used dark chocolate and I like milk chocolate but they only had dark chocolate at the store but reading this recipe I do believe that it's gonna be super sweet so I think the dark chocolate would be fine so I don't want to steam up the camera so this is the mashed potatoes. It says to puree, but I think using, I don't even know if this is a real potato masher, but I'm gonna use this to mash the potatoes up. So they're, they're all mashed. These aren't your typical mashed potatoes. I'm not adding butter, milk, or um, cream or anything to them. The only thing I am gonna put with it is a half a teaspoon of salt. Right now, I'm gonna mash that in. So this is a recipe right there. If you want to just take a screenshot or pause it for a few seconds, there is not very many things in here, but um, I'm gonna do instead of margarine butter, just cause I like butter a little better than margarine, but that's the recipe right there. But also, I wanted to point out that these are the other ingredients. I got coconut flakes, which are sweetened. And for some reason, it says two pound, two one pound packages of uh, powdered sugar or confectionery sugar or whatever you want to call the sugar. Um, but this seems like a lot. But I'm going to do Ryan Proud. I am going to go by the recipe. So all of this is going to go in it. So this is going to be super, super, super duper sweet. And yes, I don't like coconut, but in this, I don't mind it. It's not bad. So I also have vanilla, and I have the butter, and I have my potatoes all out. Take extra potatoes for dinner, and I will be putting milk and stuff in there. But this one's going to be going. I've got water boiling again for a double boiler. And if this is not the way to do it, please find out the professional way or the right way. This is the best I can think of, and I'm just going to put a uh, bowl on top I think this is gonna be okay it might not be so if this is not the right way please don't do this at home but also it's called for a jelly roll but I'm gonna do a cookie sheet so I can get a thinner a thinner uh, need them and then I can cut them So there is the mixture and as you can see it is really thick so there's not really a lot of potatoes but potatoes are part of this recipe and I really did use the whole two pounds that whole bag of powder sugar and I did make a mess on the tray but I am going to get this on the tray and get it in the fridge so it can cool and I'll show you once it all sets up and what I do to dip the chocolate
so there it is again that's the needham mixture but that makes a lot of needhams so here it is it's chilled it's been it's been a couple hours since um i put it in the fridge but it, it is hard it's well it's soft but it's hard too so it's set up i'm also putting in the microwave Ghirardelli dark chocolate ones this is the only one that I had in the store i normally like milk chocolate but this is what they had but i think it'll be sweet enough that i don't think it will matter so 30 seconds in stir 30 seconds and then till it's melted and then i'm going to cut the needums and then dip them in chocolate and then put them in wax paper they go back in the fridge to set So I only got half the pan done with the amount, with the 10 ounces of chocolate. So I gotta finish them up tomorrow, but this is what they're gonna look like. They're gonna look like covered squares. And then I'm gonna throw them back in the fridge probably for the night and probably those for the night too. But I'll have a taste test with Ryan and I and just, not yet. Whoa. I've got two, I know you want one. Um, in just a minute, but well, it's gonna be like maybe 20 minutes, but to you, it would be like a split second. So I threw these two in the fridge earlier. So Ryan, do you want to try some? So Ryan's here, and we're going to taste test. I've never made these, and I actually stuck to the recipe. You've never made needles before? And, well, I think I made them once. I thought you did. I might have. But I actually stuck to the recipe, which Ryan's just going to dig in. Really good. Are they? Yeah. I like them. Yay! I'm surprised you like them, because you don't like coconut. Or potato. Yeah, but they don't taste like potato, though. Yeah, it's pretty much sugar at this point. Very sugary. They're really good. Mm -hmm. So that was the Needham recipe. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And Ryan and I will see you next time. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, bye.